Good evening, it's Pamela. I want to get on here and talk about my wrist. Um, I've got a bandana around it now, and uh, when I had my cast off, it even hurt worse, being stiff and just pretty uncomfortable opening and closing my hand. And uh, I'm healing from that. There's so many things that we can heal in life from, but if you have any tools or had any therapy, it's a good idea to go over some things uh, that worked for you, okay? Um, I wanted to get on here and talk about things that people don't really want to talk about, and they're called triggers. As I was going through some old papers that I had from a therapist years ago, I realized you can stay in a state of anger if you're continually going around someone that's hurt you badly. Now, most people watching this would say, well, why in the world would you go around someone that hurt you badly? Well, it can be complicated and it can be complex, especially if they're in your family and you're on a journey to forgive and, and, and try to go back to some type of normality before the person treated you badly. I found that it's a huge trigger and that we must stay away. Now this is this is this is this is something that I need to get on here and talk about because I believe that other people suffer with this in their families. They distance themselves from a family member. So it wouldn't appear that they want the other person to know that they trigger them so they don't live by them or they don't want to communicate, so to speak, with them on a daily. And those people are intelligent because, you know, stress will kill you. So if you have stressful people in your life, stressful family members, and for whatever reason, you know, they, they, uh, they have a lot of issues, they haven't changed, and they're not, they don't have a willingness to first of all admit that they're wrong. You don't even need to ever hear that. What you need to know is if you are taken advantage of for money, taken advantage of for just they defined you, they you're, they let you know continually that you are too much or you're too extra. You're asking the wrong people to like you. But back to the triggers. Triggers are very intense. Triggers domino. And it all goes back to the same thing. You're going around the same kind of people that hurt you badly or the original ones. So I'm on here tonight and I'm wanting to let people know that I have learned the hard way that if people have hurt you badly, stay back. It's not something that you need to let them know. It just happens. If there's people that in my life I've looked back that aren't talking to me, well, then that's the, how they're coping, and it's okay, because now, mind you, people can hurt you badly, and they don't want to admit they're wrong, so they have the, the new, um, you hurt me. Either way, both parties need to stay away from each other. I believe that Yes, God can, can can cause a miracle and we have to put the work in and, and the love and the forgiveness first for ourselves. But it really is important because I've read it that if people have hurt you badly, chances are they're going to do it again. And you're going to be triggered. And so the people surrounding you and first of all, yourself, are going to question why you continually are upset. So it sounds simple, 
And it sounds easy, but it's complicated. Especially if you care about someone or say there's family members involved you want to see. So, or friends, whatever it may be, watch your triggers. Miss Pamela coming on here tonight drinking some hot peppermint tea, talking about my wrist that's healing. I rode in the rain on my bike. But you have to realize triggers. And you can look them up. I have a paper, a list of them. But shame on me for being upset. I'm going around people that have hurt me badly. And uh, we must stay away. We, we have to. It's a survival tool to stay calm, to, you know, have your your body and your chemicals and your oxygen and, and your stress levels, your cortisol, whatever that stuff is in your stomach, to breathe and stay calm. Watch your triggers, okay? And it's Pamela on here tonight saying tomorrow's going to be the first day of September. And uh, I hope you can learn things a lot faster than I have in my life. Uh, some things I caught on, some things I... I'm still learning. I'm always learning. But this was a big one for me. Triggers. Remember, people have hurt you badly. Stay away from them. But don't do it being mad. Just calmly stay away. They don't really even have to know. Because your peace is the most important. That stress is the number one killer. Okay? So it's Pamela saying, look for the good things. And realize that you have choices, and these triggers are in families. I don't think I've seen a family that doesn't have family members that distance themselves. They stay away. They don't come right out and say it, but they purposely live in other places, or they don't communicate or do a lot with the person that's triggering them. And, and it happens in every family. You know, I, I've noticed it. So it's, it's, it's something that happens, and it's something that we need to heal and go on with our life. But uh, these triggers are very damaging. So it's Pamela saying, have a good night, and God bless you. Have some peppermint tea, will you? Do some breathing. <sighs> Just brings you back to a place when you go around those triggers. And then that person's going to trigger you again. Right? Because they're thinking about something. Both parties need to stay away in peace.